Then all of a sudden, we are told that uh, the individual bondholders are also included. Jesus. The stories are appalling. Have you ever been in a situation where you, have, you suddenly don't have control? And for many, life-threatening. That is my food. That's my everything. Ever imagined losing everything you've worked for, ironically, in a risk-free investment? This is the reality of many who invested their monies in government bonds. The impending future palpable for many individual bondholders as government robes them in in its domestic debt exchange program. In simple terms, government is broke and has now resorted to staggering the payments of people it owes in order to survive. Peter Kojunyasepe is 77 and has been diabetic for 11 years. He's dependent on the returns of his bond. With it, he's able to settle the bills for his medication, feeding and general livelihood. As I cannot move, people have to look after me. People have to take water for me, people have to do everything. I don't have any means to do. Aside his well-being, Peter has some bigger problems. He had planned to use his returns this year to solve this problem once and for all. Government's latest decision has now left him devastated. There is a strain at my back here. And when the rainy season comes, the, he runs through the place and is getting a little bit further. He breaks the wall and the water rushes in. My plan this year was to reinforce the wall. Peter is among several other persons, both young and old, who are struggling as a result of government's current initiative. Many in this situation have been left with no other choice than to pray that government makes a U-turn. But that dream seems gloomy as several persons close to power seem to suggest this move is the only way out. What we will ask is for the evaluation of his properties garnished and sold. Then we see that yes, Gabi loves Ghana that much. Roberta, a mother of five, resigned from her workplace after many years and invested all her money into government bonds, hoping to cater for her family and expenses with the returns. The result, a crippling turn of events and a complete loss of trust in the financial sector. I didn't intend crying, but <clears throat> I saw tears flowing. <laughs> down my cheeks. How will I survive? How are we going to survive? Because the coupon itself is even inadequate. Roberta tells me she has been unable to have a sound sleep since the announcement was made and her children who are the most likely impacted her concern. They all know what is going on. She went to school and only uh, yesterday she spoke to us. She's not feeling fine. Why do you think she isn't feeling fine? Because, of course, everything she needed, she wouldn't have gotten everything to school. One. And she knew that mommy is not in her right mind. More and more bondholders are feeling the pinch. Isaac Tomega says he is gradually losing being the breadwinner of his home since the announcement. Have you ever been kidnapped before or, or ambushed before? Yes, this is how it feels. It is terrible. It is that huge fear of the unknown, the future. That is my, my headache. If I have money, I will not put it in any, uh, any government security. I will not. His major worry is how to cater for his children. I have four kids. One of them is in the U.S. It's in a school in the U.S. That's a major, major impact. About 60% of my income from the bond goes towards my daughter, my daughter's school fees and upkeep in the U.S. Okay? So I can tell you right now, when the semester started this past Monday the 9th, she was not admitted to school. Isaac, an accountant, says there are several ways governments could deal with the economic crisis without necessarily roping in the individual bondholders. I can accept a situation where you say, oh, let me keep the principal, let me extend the principal as it is into a future date, but I continue to give you interest at this current rate. So you would have varied only the, 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 the maturity date. It's a dire situation, a government at the brink of bankruptcy, and creditors who are beyond statistics but real lives who may lose all they have. While well, government seems to have heeded to the cries of bondholders by extending the deadline to allow for more conversation. So much is on the line. The future of a nation and the life and livelihoods of its citizens. Judith Ochitando.